over here in my other yard i've got multiple plants growing potatoes which are ready to be harvested i've got tomatoes i've got peppermint hold that thought figs not doing so well the basil no the dill nope the bay leaves aren't doing well at all in this pot that i planted them in last year and this is a different colivar that i purchased but the cilantro and pesto mm, parsley are doing very well but my moringa over here is doing great these are ground cherries very distinctive leaves very distinctive little pods <laughs> pods and when they fall to the ground they're called ground cherry and these particular kinds are pineapple most of the time when they fall off the vine they are green and the paper is pliable but as the paper matures and gets crunchy hold that thought when you pull the paper back if it's green let it ripen a little more if it turns yellow it's a pineapple very good very sweet mm. I love growing them and generally in the end of the season I'll let some of them fall back in the basket give it some fertilization and make some more the following year that way you got the crops that comes back every year hold that thought over here I have my basil my rosemary my sage and tucked in between all these herbs are sweet potatoes which I have not sprayed at all. Whereas, hold that thought, since it had been raining off and on every day, I did not get a chance to spray my foliage. So this sweet potato basket, which was absolutely beautiful yesterday, <laughs> this is hap what happens when you don't spray your foliage. Those crickets or whomever that's nibbled all night have had a dinner with my sweet potato leaves. I'm gonna spray them tonight, even though it's supposed to rain again. <sighs> spray your leaves with some neem oil, dish soap, and or hot sauce. Keep those little buggers away. Take care, be safe, keep growing. Don't forget to breathe.